Another week has gone by, and with that comes brand new challenges in Fortnite. What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and in today's YouTube video, we are going to be going over all of the week six challenges for Chapter Three, Season One, including two challenges that won't be enabled right away, but will be used as replacements if another one from this week gets disabled due to an issue. Now, in total, this week we have 175,000 XP that can be obtained. However, if you do one of these challenges that I mentioned in today's video, and then later down the line that challenge gets disabled for another challenge, you'll basically be able to gain an additional 25,000 XP per each challenge that gets swapped around. So with that out of the way, let's get right into today's video. Now for the first challenge this week, you'll have to travel 100 meters while flying around Tornado. This will be a lot easier to do during this week as Tornado spawns are increased until January 17th. However, even if you try to do this challenge after the week is over, all you really have to do is fly around a Tornado whenever you find one that spawns and as far as I'm aware it will not count travel distance when you're flying away from a tornado like if you got spit out of it so if you really want this challenge to count easily then whenever you find a tornado in one of your matches just spin around it for as long as possible until you finish the challenge and then go back on to doing whatever you were doing. Now challenge 2 requires you to damage an opponent within 45 seconds of crouching in tall grass which from my playtime this season can be found most frequently between the daily bugle and the sanctuary right in the river area or down below at the Jonesies. Now this one is super simple because you have a giant gap of time where you can crouch in the grass and then you could literally spend like 30, 20, however many seconds running around to find an enemy and as long as you shoot them with one bullet before 45 seconds is up you've completed the challenge. Our third challenge requires you to purchase an item from a malfunctioning vending machine anywhere on the Fortnite island. And now something to note about these specific vending machines is that they don't have a set spawn like the normal ones do. Instead what happens is the normal ones have a small chance every match you play to actually be a malfunctioning vending machine. So all you have to do is go to one of the vending machines you see on the map in the background footage. Just go there, hope that it's malfunctioning. If it isn't, go around, try finding some more, play a few matches, and you'll eventually get this done. Our fourth challenge is really self-explanatory because all you have to do is go to the top left of the map and chop down the trees that cause the log to fall off after being chopped down. Now once you've chopped down three of these trees or at least made the logs fall off of three of these trees, you'll also have to break the stump of those trees for the challenge to officially count and complete. Now an insanely good spot for this is the top right of Camp Cuddle as it will have over 25 timber pine tree spawns all right next to one another. So this one is a super simple one. It's more of a just land here and harvest a little bit of materials and you'll be on your way. The fifth challenge is probably one of the easiest challenges on this entire list for week six as all you'll have to do is take at least 30 damage, grab a tent, and just rest in the tent until you've gained that 30 HP back. There's no catches or gimmicks to this and there isn't really like a, oh you have to do it at this specific area. It's basically just a free 25,000 XP for healing yourself back up by using the rest feature in tents. Now our sixth challenge is to mark an enemy with a recently unvaulted flare gun. For those unaware of how the flare gun works, if you hit an object with it, it will catch that object in the area around it on fire. However, if you shoot it up into the air, it will send out a shakedown like ping that will mark any enemies in the area around where you have shot it. So just find a flare gun in a chest, a supply drop, or on the ground, and just shoot it into the air when you know that there is an enemy nearby. Pretty simple challenge, although the hard part is really just finding the flare gun itself. And now the final challenge is to honk a car horn within 10 meters of an opponent. Now, my personal advice for this challenge is to just spam the honk button as you're driving into an enemy player just so you can guarantee you'll get the challenge done. Plus, let's be honest, you're driving over players in Fortnite and seeing them go flying in the air is just a lot of fun to witness. Now with the main challenges out of the way, it's time to talk about the two replacement challenges for week 6 that Epic Games can enable at any time they want. Firstly, replacement challenges are a new system Epic Games is experimenting with this season where if a challenge has a bug or gets vaulted, such as if tornadoes get disabled, they can easily disable the tornado challenge and enable a replacement challenge instead. Now firstly, from what I've seen, all of these replacement challenges are super easy to do, both of which you can see on screen right now, with the first one being to deal 150 damage to opponents with a pistol and the second one to deal 100 headshot damage to opponents with any gun you want. So it's basically just, hey, if you've already completed a challenge that got disabled, you're getting a little bit of extra XP to level you up that slight bit faster, but if you haven't done the previous challenge, you're not going to miss out on anything if they decide to disable that due to an issue or whatever else. 
But let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful and if you'd like to see weekly challenge guides every Thursday for Fortnite because if it helps out either with where to find something or simply reminds you to do these challenges each week, I would love to do this content more often. Now there might be a second video later today talking about a hotfix that is happening around the time this video goes up which will modify the Striker SMG, the Mark 7 Assault Rifle, and the Auto Shotgun stats. So stay tuned for more info about that and with that said, have a nice day.